So it's the most common problem in newborn whenever uh, that due to vitamin K deficiency, and it's the most common hemorrhagic disease in newborn due to the vitamin K deficiency. So most common cause of neonatal hemorrhage, there is a defective coagulation and it leads to hemorrhagic disease of newborn, HDN. Second, due to hepatic insufficiency and third, hereditary bleeding disorders. These are the most common cause of neonatal hemorrhage due to defective coagulation. In history, first during the uh, assessment of the newborn, in case of hemorrhagic disease of newborn, so during assessment, first to ask okay, what is the gestational age, the preterm baby are more predisposed to bleeding diastasis. Intraventricular hemorrhage is common in first 10 days of life. And germinal matrix or intraventricular hemorrhage in term baby should point to possible coagulation defect. Has the vitamin K been given? Is there family history of bleeding disorders? And hemophilia B and hypofibrinogenemia rarely present in newborn period unless the deficiency is very severe. Relevant maternal history when there is a case of hemorrhagic disease of newborn. Obstetric history of SLE, ITP, PIH, maternal infection, history of perinatal asphyxia, predisposed to the neonatal bleeding and exposure to the medication leading to deficiency of vitamin K dependent coagulation factor should be inquired into. Where is a bleeding site? Mucocutaneous bleeding is a whole mark of platelet disorders and the bleeding precipitated by trauma and bleeding in a deep site is usually due to deficiency of coagulation factor and generalized bleeding from skin, gastrointestinal tract, urogenital tract, and central nervous system is usually associated with disseminated intravascular coagulation or due to the liver disease. On physical examination, assess the vital parameter, heart rate, respiration, color of the baby, activity, blood pressure, and oxygen saturation and to determine whether the baby is well or sick. So if you first to decide this bleeding in the, there's a neonatal embrace, whether baby is well or baby is sick. If the well baby is there, then the cause of bleeding, neonatal embrace due to sleep or ligatures, swallowed maternal blood, vitamin K deficiency, maternal drug intake, all or autoimmune, alloimmune or autoimmune thrombocytopenia, isolated clotting factor deficiency, and the localized vascular disorders. In sick baby, the cause of neonatal hemorrhage, infection, there is a congenital acquired infection, asphyxia, DIC, and the thrombosis. <laughs>